Hello everyone. Today in this video, we will be discussing the chapter The Adventures of Toto, which is from your Moments book. Now before we start, let us know who is Toto. Uh, now Toto is a very mischievous monkey who is brought by the grandfather of the narrator. And in this story, all his adventures, which are basically his mischiefs that are being discussed. And by the end of this story, we'll see how troublesome he had become for the family to be kept. And uh, so we'll see what the family does at the end. So at the beginning, we are told that grandfather of the narrator ha uh, had brought had bought Toto for 5 rupees from a Tonga driver. Now the grandfather of the narrator, uh, he had his own private uh, collection of animals in his private zoo. So when he saw Toto uh, with the Tonga driver, he felt that it was uh, very out of place and he wanted to add him in his own private collection of animals. So he bought Toto for 5 rupees from the Tonga driver. Uh, when we first look at Toto, uh, we would be mesmerized by his beauty because he had very sharp features and his eyes sparkled with mischief. So perhaps that was also other reason that the grandfather felt Toto uh, should be uh, kept in his own private zoo. Now initially when Toto was brought to the house, uh, the grandfather and the narrator, they hide about Toto from the grandmother because grandmother would usually be annoyed by this habit of grandfather of bringing some new animals every other day. So what they did was uh, they decided to keep him hidden inside a closet. Now Toto being the mischievous monkey that he is, he has created a havoc inside the uh, closet and he tears the clothes, tears the wallpaper and everything. And um, when the grandfather and the narrator come to see, come to take him out, then they see the disaster that he had caused inside the closet. So they had no other option but to shift him into a bigger cage in the servant's quarter along with the other animals. Okay, So uh, he had to be kept there. But till then the grandmother did not know about Toto's presence and once grandfather had to travel uh, and he could not risk um, Toto to be kept all alone um, at the care of the servants so he decided to take him along with him. Now taking Toto, the mischievous monkey, was a very big deal. So what he did was he packed him inside a canvas bag and carried him in the train. Uh, but Toto created a lot of attention uh, towards him because he was constantly moving and jumping about inside the canvas uh, bag because he was trying to get out of it. And so he was collecting and garnering a lot of attention from the fellow passengers and um, somehow he also caught the attention of the ticket collector who also charged uh, the grandfather at the end claiming that he was a uh, dog and not monkey. So uh, that incident went, the grandfather had to pay uh, 3 rupees as a fee. Uh, somehow uh, that incident went well. Next... Uh, what happens is that uh, the grandmother comes to know about Toto and he was given a comfortable home in the stable. Now once inside stable, Toto had to share his space with Nana the donkey. But Nana and Toto had never uh, got along very well because Toto once bit Nana's ears. And from that day onwards, uh, they were the biggest of rivals in the, uh, in the stable. One uh, habit of Toto was that he greatly enjoyed taking hot baths. The grandmother would give him a big bowl of hot water. There he would carefully put inside his hand or feet to check the temperature of the water. And then uh, gradually he would submerge his entire body and would greatly enjoy taking bath. Okay, So this habit of him almost once got him killed. Uh, one day what happened, the grandmother had kept a um, kettle of water to be boiled and Toto somehow saw, saw that and he went inside the 
he went inside the kettle thinking that the water was comfortable so he got inside gradually the water was starting to become hotter so he would take out his head out okay take his head out and when he would feel that the temperature outside uh, the kettle was quite uh, cold he would again submerge himself in the hot water and not to forget that the kettle was still on fire so the temperature the water was gradually boiling the temperature was increasing uh, if it had not been for the grandmother who had come in right time to take him out he would have boiled himself to death that day because he was continuously coming outside and when he would feel it to be quite cold outside he would go inside the water again so this was what he was doing so this is another incident of his mischief he would also be a constant annoyance to all the visitors who would come to visit their house. He would disturb them. He would pull their clothes, tear them. Uh, he would eat the food prepared for them. Once there was one such family gathering for which the grandmother prepared some pulao. And she had kept it on the dining table. Toto took the entire bowl of the pulao and uh, he went up to a tall tree okay and from the top of the tree he was continuously and slowly uh, enjoying his meal eating and at the end when he had finished he had dropped the bowl and shattered it to pieces just to annoy grandmother because she was continuously shouting at him for uh, taking all the food away okay uh, so soon everyone realized that he was too much to be kept as a pet not only because of his mischief but also because he was uh, starting to prove quite expensive with his mischief okay so grandmother what uh, grandfather what he did he had to sell him back to the tonga driver from whom he had bought him for five rupees but he had to sell him for only three rupees because it was a relief even if the uh, tonga driver would pay one rupee for him uh, perhaps because he was so mischievous so this is all uh, this is all the story is about um, this this entire chapter talks about all the mischiefs that um, Toto does and that is why it is named the adventures of Toto now let us look into the question answers how does Toto come to grandfather's private zoo uh, grandfather had brought him from the Tonga driver Toto was a pretty monkey in what sense is Toto pretty because of his uh, sparkly eyes deep set why does grandfather take Toto to Saharanpur and how uh, in a canvas bag because he could not leave Toto all alone why does the ticket collector insist on calling Toto a dog because perhaps he had four limbs so he could uh, not, the ticket collector could not distinguish between a quadruped and a monkey. How does Toto take a bath in a big ball of hot water? Uh, where has he learned to do this? Uh, grandmother would uh, bathe him like that so that is how he learned it. How does Toto almost boil himself alive? So here you'll have to write the entire incident, how he saw the kettle uh, in the stove with boiling water and how he uh, got inside the water and how the water was still on fire and him coming up and uh, inside the kettle. The entire incident you have to write. Why does the author say Toto was not the sort of pet we could keep for long because he was uh, getting too expensive uh, to be kept because of his continuous mischief and also because his mischief were uh, beyond tolerance perhaps they were too much for anybody to endure uh, he would not let anybody to be in peace uh, so they had to eventually um, get away uh, get rid of him. So this is all for this video. I hope you all have understood it and uh, uh, could do. You, you will be able to do the question answers on your own. Thank you and have a nice day ahead.